It's been a while. I have been extremely busy. And something happened that took priority over what was originally going to come out. Sonic Frontiers got an update. Yay! Okay, this is gonna be a different video than most things I do here. Because originally, I wanted to finish the Final Horizon DLC before I did this. I didn't finish it. We're gonna talk about why. I, your dear friend, the Lore Master, have a skill issue. It's shocking, I know. I didn't think I had one either. But I found out just a bit too late that I, I am not good at video games. So let me set the stage for you. Final Horizon, it's just a free DLC update, adds a new story. I, like, okay, this looks cool. Well, let's play it, I can do a lore master on it if it's wildly different. So far it is. Uh, when I do eventually finish this, I will come back and actually do a proper lore master on this. But right now we're talking about the skill issue I have. So let's get on that. So you, to get this true final boss, as I'm, as I'm calling it, you have to beat five trials. Five, like, challenges. They're not all too bad. You have to, f they're all within a time limit. That's, all, that's like the biggest problem with a lot of them. They are on a very strict time limit. You do not, like, you cannot screw up is the thing. The first trial, you're just fighting six, like, basic enemies. The only thing different about them is that they're just way faster. It's a bit annoying, but once you get the, once you get it down, it's pretty easy. The second trial, oh my lord. It's not like the main thing we're talking about today, but it is something we're talking about. We have to, you, you have to beat four enemies that take like 10 seconds just to deal any sort of damage to. You have to beat four of them in two minutes. Of course, I'm over exaggerating on like how much time it takes to damage them. If you know what you're doing, which I after a while knew what I was doing, you can do, you can do it. The third trial is where I started to realize I had a skill issue. Parrying. Sonic Frontiers is a game that has a parry mechanic in it. It's different from most parrying in like most games. You don't have to time it at all. You can hold down the parry buttons for as long as you want and it'll be fine. I didn't know that. So I, you had to fight this like group of enemies. You had to parry them six times in order to do anything. You had way more, way more than enough time. So that wasn't an issue. The issue was that I suck at parrying. It took me a while to get that down. Eventually I did it. Oh, good Lord, it, it, took, it took way too long. Yeah, it, it just took way too long and you know, I progressed, it was fine, I progressed. Uh, the fourth trial, actually the easiest one. All you had to do was just fight one of the mini bosses, but they were extremely fast. It was easy to do. You had like 10 minutes to do it. Then we get on to the fifth trial. This, this is the whole reason I'm making this video. The fifth trial is so insanely bull I had to, I had to talk about it. I had to. You have to beat the first three bosses in the base game with three handicaps. One, you, all your stats are level one, so you do the least amount of damage you could possibly do. Two, you can't refill on rings, period. You're, you're capped at 400, it never goes down, it never goes, like you can't make it go up, ever. And the third thing, the, 
Oh, the reason this is way more challenging than it should be. Perfect parrying. This is something the final d DLC just did your f it new mechanic. Just added this shit in and didn't tell us about it until right now. Perfect parrying is just parrying like in every other game. You have to get the timing down. I suck at timing. So I have to beat the first three bosses of the base game with while parrying perfectly multiple times with the lowest stat possible on a glorified time limit. Oh my god. And you know what? It wouldn't it honestly wouldn't be that bad. Parries aren't required for the first boss fight and they just make the third boss fight a lot quicker. But the second boss fight that's the only one where parries are absolutely mandatory. I remember, I remember in the original Sonic Frontiers video, I didn't know how to pronounce it. Now I know how to pronounce it. It's the Wyvern. Get, get used to that. You're going to hear me saying that name a lot. So the Wyvern is the second boss fight. I already struggled with this thing on my first playthrough. Like, I eventually got it done. But, like, I struggled with it. But, like, it wasn't, I feel like quitting this game and not playing it kind of done. So th the Wyvern is the only boss where parrying is required. Because the thing is with the Wyvern, you can't damage it unless you do two things. One, parry the missiles it fires back at it, which for some reason don't damage it. And then two, dodge, like it's going to swipe at you. You have to parry that and then you can start damaging it. Here's the thing with carrying specifically physical attacks. The timing is fucking whack. It's terrible. Like, okay, I'm gonna show you two frames, one of which is going to be where you're supposed to parry. Is it A or is it B? I'll give you a minute to figure it out. Did you pick A? Well, you're wrong. Did you pick B? You're also wrong. It's this. It doesn't even make any fucking sense. The wyvern is like 10, 10, like 10 miles away from you. And that's when you're supposed to parry. But like, okay, fine. Once you get used to that, it's not the worst thing in the world. At least for the first phase. Tip, tip. I'm going to give you some tips here. As someone who did beat this second boss, I haven't finished the trial yet, because good lord. Tip for the second boss fight. Use the quick side loop you immediately just skip the first phase because you do so much damage if you quick side with the Wyvern. Like, because you just do a lot of damage and it'll get you the second phase easy. The second phase is where we really start having issues. The second phase, there's just more shit on your screen. There's, no mo there's not more shit to worry about. There's more shit on your screen. It's simply meant to distract you. You still have the perfect parry, and instead of parrying one more attack from the Wyvern, you have to parry two. Which, okay, also, I could consistently do that after practicing a bit. Now, you, once you, like, start damaging the Wyvern, once you've done enough, and, like, it, it'll start, like, it'll, like, try to counterattack. What it'll do, it'll, like, spin around look like it's going to hit you with its tail, not hit you with its tail, then hit you with its tail. It's just so hard to time this that I accidentally got it right because I was able to get two parries in. I was able to parry twice and I just accidentally got it. And another tip, like, I don't know, I'm going to call this lore master tips or some stupid shit like that. Don't quick side loop the wyvern on the second phase. Only do it on the first. Because what happens on the second phase? He counterattacks with the move that you have 15 frames to react and parry to. One, six. Somewhere around there. Less than half a second. You want to know what the average human reaction time is for visual cues? One fourth of a second. You cannot f***ing parry this thing 
if you don't know it's coming? Because you have 15 frames. Oh my lord. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so hung up about that because that's so dumb. And the thing is, that's not in the original boss fight. At least I don't think it is. Because, like, normally the boss fight's over, like... Like, you don't quick side loop it because... Like, you're already, you're already doing more than enough damage. Like, you don't really, there's not really a point to. But in this, quick side looping. Okay, there's two ways to do a lot of damage to, boss, to bosses. The quick side loop, or just side looping in general, but quick side looping is easier because it just does the hard part for you, which is drawing a circle. And something called the Grand Slam, which is something you can do after you parry a boss's attack. Don't do this with the wyvern. I'm gonna say it again for the people in the back. Don't do this to the wyvern because it doesn't do jack shit. It does like just a little bit of damage, then you're right back to the bullshit. Just, if you somehow manage to parry the wyvern's little tail slap, because that's the only way you can do a grand slam. Just keep wailing on it. It's the only way you'll, you'll survive. Oh yeah, and did I ever mention, uh, if you're doing the first boss fight perfectly, like I've done multiple times, you'll have like 320 rings going into this. That sounds like a lot. No, it's not. I did the wyvern. I messed up one time. I had like, I had like 120 rings going into the third boss fight. And because of that, and because the third boss fight, I just forgot a lot of shit about it. And none of it's bullshit. Actually, one thing about it's bullshit. We'll get to that later. I lost. Oh, yeah. One thing. I, I almost didn't make this video because I almost beat the boss rush. But apparently, on the third boss fight, doing, like, the quick side loop doesn't kill it. So I died because the game was programmed not to kill the third boss after the side loop. Like, I remember, it was like 7 p.m. on like a weekend. I remember I felt like, just no, just no. I turned the switch off because that's why I play it on because I'm a fing noob. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it was like 7, it was like 7 p.m. I failed it. I was like, no, no. I turned it off. I like turned the game off just went to bed. I just went to bed because I was so, I was so upset. Like, I couldn't say anything because my family's in the house. I didn't want to like, I didn't want to cause a, I didn't want to cause a scene. But I, like, so I, I just, I went to bed. So now we're talking about the third boss fight, which doesn't have as much BS. It does have one thing though. So here's the thing with the third boss fight. Parrying isn't required. It makes things a hell of a lot easier, but it's not required. Uh, you, there's like a quick time event that you have to do multiple times. It's super easy. It's a quick time event in Sonic Frontiers. Those are easy. Uh, so you have to parry like the shield that the boss uses. Then you have to maneuver that shield into the boss to start doing damage to it. You just sometimes don't have control over where it goes. Like, so many times, I have, like, needed to parry and then do that whole spiel again. I had to do that all over again just because, like, I was, like, I was, like, I was, like, moving around the joystick. Nothing was happening. Just nothing. Like, no input was being put in. Like, I probably would have won that boss fight. I probably would have won the rush if it wasn't for that. Like, the Final Horizon DLC, like, it's cool. It's a cool story. The sh you have to do to get this, like, to, to get, like, the actual boss fight is so ungodly difficult. I don't get it. Like, Sonic Frontiers was definitely one of the harder Sonic games. It wasn't anything special, but, like, it definitely wasn't, like, Sonic Forces easy. Because nothing is Sonic Forces easy. What am I talking about? 
Like, it wasn't easy. But it wasn't just unfair. This is just unfair. Because they're introducing something that fundamentally changes how the boss fights work. For the worse. And they, they left the boss fights completely unchanged. Mostly unchanged. I don't, I don't know about the whole 15 frame wyvern attack thing. I'm not sure if that's in the original fight or not, but if it is, then they they left this completely unchanged and just sort of decided it was a good idea to add a completely new mechanic that f***ed over everything. Oh my lord. It, it's actually so frustrating. I'm not a guy who rages at games often. I, li I like chill games. Like... I like playing games that help me relax. Sonic Frontiers is not that, never was that, but I enjoyed Sonic Frontiers just because it's fun. This game was the first time I actually almost did a control, I like threw my controller onto the ground. I didn't because it's the only controller I have and it's like 70 bucks, but I almost did. It's actually insane just how fast the difficulty of this DLC spikes. Like, you go from like, okay, it's like a fine, like, five or six to a fucking 50. Oh my god. Like, I'll eventually beat it and I'll eventually come back in here to do a lore master on the actual story of the Final Horizon. For now, I just wanted to talk about this. I'm not sure how long this is going to be. It's probably going to be way shorter than I think it's going to be. But, like, I had to talk about this. I had to talk about this just because, well, A, I had the free time, finally. And B, this is just something I wanted to vent about. I don't have any, anyone to vent my frustrations toward this game. To, I don't have anyone to vent it to but the people that are watching me right now. And to that, I thank you. She a cousin.